nice and early Sunday morning. Time for complete Xbox.com's coffee morning gaming chat. A bit tired this morning. Should have just woken up. Got my coffee in hand. And about to crack on with some the golf club 2019s. Anyone doesn't know what I do on a Sunday morning? Evo game from Game Pass, something that's featured on Games with Gold, past or present, or free to play title. However, it has to be of the relaxed approach and no guns blazing. So, as much as I'm into Destiny recently, Destiny 2 with all the update and news that it's um, going to cross over to next gen. It's a no-no from me because that's something that I do like to wake up with. It's a chill-out game first thing in the morning because you're knackered. Just waking up, so it's perfect for a cup of coffee. And a game that is a chill-out game, just today we should just take a step back if you need to have a sip of coffee read a tweet write a tweet uh, read a comment for me because I do the complete expert stuff um, interact on our discord and if anyone wants to send me a message on Mixer hell if anyone wants to join in that, that's fine just send me a message on my Xbox Gamer Tag and we'll, we can sort this out but at the moment I'm going to continue on with my DJ tour just my volume Tired just recently on my character. For a little while now, I've liked to dress my characters up a little bit. It just if you're ever in a party with anyone, certainly as I host Thursday nights on the Xbox, it always makes for good uh, conversation. I've, I've, to be fair, I've saw a few other guys do it, and I know myself it leads to a bit of conversation. A bit of banter and a bit of a laugh, so I'm, not, I'm gradually joining in. But I encourage everyone else to do the same because it's a laugh to take yourself too seriously online. If you're going to create a character, make it fucking bold. Hello, everyone. A great event to be playing in. It's the Champions I mean, yeah, Invitation. If you want to have it look like you, my name is Luke Elvin. Alongside me, uh, as always, is John McCarthy, and we're excited to bring this day's action to now. you. And John, getting off to a good start is paramount. How do the players have to play this opening hole? Well, Luke, it's a beautiful course here at Faxon Park, and this first hole, par four, is no different. Well, There's water to the left, and straight. the fairway gets cut in two. Doesn't usually happen for me recently. If you play up the right, I think most people will. Uh, you can get a slightly better view of that green, which is flanked by bunkers to the right and left. Let's see how this one goes. Thanks, John. Conditions are right for scoring, so let's see if they can go low. It looks like a seven iron. A good connection with that, but that's what we do, considering. And nothing wrong with that shot. 15 feet away here. Oh my goodness, just missed. Close. But no cigar, eh? Saw the break. Doesn't judge it enough. And starting the round off with a par. Looking forward to the next uh, HB game. 
Happy Studios. Okay. And now let's move to the second hole. Now these always a struggle for me because it's the five hybrid will be too far and I know even if I adjust the uh, top spin that's just going to bounce off there that's not enough Yeah, I'll take that, considering. Part three is an FML test. And this putt's for birdie. Getting close. It seems to have the right length at the moment. And now we're going to take a look at the leaderboard. As long as we're not dropping a shot, that's absolutely fine. And he's going to stay right there at even par after that hole. <laughs> and now, as the third hole to Anybody that questions the sort of wider, the relaxed approach in the morning, it, it is the... It's, the game's up for everyone. I get that. But you have to pick a game that people... Are open to so in terms of what they can access, and it helps if I don't mind playing it too. I mean, look, pleasantly surprised where we did Minecraft dungeons, wasn't the biggest Minecraft player, didn't know, well, I knew a bit about the game, what it was going to be like, obviously, having. Doing all the writing and stuff for complete experts, but it's a bit skeptical as to whether I would like it. But we do Thursday night when we do the Sunday and morning feet to go session, here. that Ed was pleasantly surprised, and would do it again. But the idea between the Sunday games is the ch you chill out and now relax, it's, uh, relax, take a and look and see what's happening and up on that leaderboard. It is that a proper chill out and I'll let you do something there's the a reason behind the enjoying golf game. And now the fourth hole. Some of you will know me as Necker back off Twitter. Um and my back is pretty knackered. Um, four or five major sort of spinal operations. Well, looking pretty good. Back a spine together. Um, so I'm never really going to enjoy certain activities ever again. And from about 120 yards out. Been golf. I used to golf before I did my back in. All the problems started. And the other one is that I actually enjoy, which again people find strange. It's the fishing games that are, again, nice. Relaxing game and again, not for sure everyone. Like that. Very and niche. This putt is for birdie. Uh, but for me, I'm never really gonna go fishing like I used to. So that that's the reason behind certain games. I, I, I like sport titles because unfortunately, yeah, it's never really gonna happen see again. See how things are going on the so, leaderboard. Like gaming and after for that one, staying steady at seventh place. That's the reason. In those types, they, they um, okay, and here create is something the fifth for me hole. In, in like a virtual world, if you like, something that I can enjoy. And that's probably why I enjoy them. Wow, there is of, some serious power behind this drive, folks. Golf on a Thursday night with friends, it's. Still having a chance. It's just like walking around the golf course if like without actually really moving. From 245 yards to the pin. So hopefully can hit this in two.
Fantastic really tricky to hold. work on this par here, five, but... hitting the green in two. Another go. You say as long as we get close enough for a, a birdie, but that's still uh, from 19 feet. Uh, It'll be a tricky part, that one. Ooh, Whoa, it just, just, just it. doesn't drop. And this putt is for par. And after that one, he's uh, unfortunately going to be moving down in the standings. <laughs> Getting ready to tee so off still, on this par three. We had a chance there. The way that I made gr green too. And here's an eight iron. That looks like it's going long. Oh, so it should drop. Well, it turns out that one is safely on the green. From here, it's about 11 feet to the cup. Ooh, almost, Ooh. almost. Hit too hard. This one's about three feet from the cup. Getting closer, though. And that one drops for power. And he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard after that hole. And let's see what the seventh hole has in store today. So a long par four. And it's looking like this is bound for short. And from here, about 210 yards to the pin. I can have that problem with a, with a wood. And that it's going to skip the surface if I hit it straight, that was. So length would have been around about right, maybe. Um, yeah, nothing to write home about on that approach shot. Unfortunately, unfortunately. not enough club on that one. Oh, boy. So. And that beauty little sand shot is going to put par very much on the table. And that putt drops. And say par, it's about the seven. At even par. And that also means he is tied for seventh place. And the eighth hole is next. A par five. Again, hopefully. We'll get a chance to get one back. Yeah, I think this one's going to find the fairway. little bit longer we might have made it in two we've set up for a nice layup approach bit like that's going to bounce back on uh, and this is bounced out in the deep very rough. happy about that shot and he appears to be very deep in the rough here for this next shot
And See, look, I think you'll like that. Shot out from there. Those putts for birdie. Ooh, we've and made our first birdie. Bumped it finally. And after that hole, one under for the day. And he's tied for third place on the leaderboard. And now setting up for the par four. Pretty sure he's going to like that one. About a hundred yards to the pin. All right, a bit of luck. Drop this. Do the hole. Looking close well, enough. The approach That's... did find the green, but uh, quite a long distance putt ahead. This putt is for par. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And after nine, we're checking back in with our guy, Luke. What are you seeing out there on the course today as we uh, finish up this final round of action? Well, just a shot off the lead, heading into the final few holes. It's gonna be an absolute nail biter this one. Thanks, Luke. Now back to the action. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. Okay, and about 145 yards left. This could be good. It's heading for the green here. All right, he's on the green now. And 11 feet to go here. Too bad. And tapping in for the par. And after that hole, one under for the day. The wits of the is currently tied for second place on the leaderboard. And now setting up for this par five. Just a magnificent display of power here. So it's something I'm looking forward to playing. We give it a go later. No Man's Sky. Now it's a game pass and that is cross compact. Should be a lot more people playing it. I for one have never really played it. Uh, but my best mate absolutely um, swears by the game. He thinks it's a corker. He's not usually wrong. Um, he's maybe plays some up via um, PC now, so um, always good to grab a game where we can just sort of I think join like up him. online. That's not a bad I think he's shot. Like that. This putt's for birdie. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. We managed to get another birdie. I say, and after that oh, one, five, we'll so. share the top spot on the leaderboard. 
And so now we find right. ourselves on the 12th. Uh, but usually, for me, they are usually followed by par threes, and that's where I was. Because, I don't know about you, I tend to overhit drives anyway, so naturally you want to club down, but. Um, you never know, quite know by how much. And then when you do. Going with the 8 iron. You usually get this sort of result. Are you too short? But I can guarantee if I hadn't done anything to the top or anything like that, and, uh, that, that would have over like here. It's, it's, From 29 for me, feet it's out. a tricky. Well, he said one bit up. Oh, well. And this one's about six feet away. And that putt drops Ooh, on I after I said he just dropped in. I thought I uh, had to too far to the right. Holding on to the first place spot. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Got some water to watch it. You don't want a long drive. Commentator's not saying anything, but that's all right. And he's got to be happy with that. 135 yards to the pin. Going with the nine iron. And this one's definitely heading towards the green. Oop, happy with that. And this putt is for birdie. So whatever birdie. And today currently sitting at three under par. And setting up now on the 14th hole. Another par five. Well, so far, so, so good for this one. Although, to be fair, I've not hit this one far enough to go for it in two. Too much water involved as well. Not a chance. So people would stay at the bunker. So that's all right. Probably yeah, even probably tips like to go that. a little bit too close to that bunker, but hopefully. And this one's heading towards the green. Oh, that do. And he's in the short stuff now. This one's about nine feet away. One will go for 30. And after that one, he's going to stay right where he was on the leaderboard. And moving on to the 15th hole. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. from 130 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here. And I think he will be pleased with that. And this is for birdie. Oh, that was it's still that was with very a close. Still run about right. 
And now fair, let's take a look at the leader leader leader. Most of the shots have been very straight. Four under for the day. And now teeing off on this par four. Expecting the fire walls and then for a second for another that most of us it's a strike. But. And I think he will like that. Footmark. Ooh, that looks good. Much, too much. And for the par. Too much, and I was tempted to go a little bit further, even as well. And after that one, he's still managing to hold on to first place. And let's see what the 17th has in store. No par three. Going with a pitching wedge here. Could have put a bit too much club on this one. And that putt will be safely on the be third down. distance still to go. Ooh. What was the break of that? I would have sworn it said it was going to the right. Feet. Just didn't happen, did it? Don't always believe what you say, eh? And no change in his standings uh, after that hole. And moving on to the 18th hole. Again, fairly decent straight shot. And I think you'll like that from 145 yards out. What does a club down do this one? Going with the nine iron here. Give it a go there. This next putt is for a final round score of 67. And from that and look length, at that. that, that's not bad. Is, a feat, is it? Feat to accomplish. And he's done it, Luke. He proved himself today, and he has played well enough to uh, become the winner of this event. Oh, you can see the elation on his face. What a performance. He deserved the victory right from the get-go. But this will do a lot for his confidence. I look forward to have a huge season from here on in. On behalf of our hard-working production crew and all the team in the truck, I'm Luke Elvey, saying so long for now. Got me five stars, isn't it? Drop a shot. Now, pretty sure, not that I think I'm going to do it, there's an achievement on Summerland. Um, I may already have it. I'm just having a quick... Scott's now Summerland. 60 or better. Uh, I think that's asking too much, but we've got to give it a go, haven't we? 
So around a 60. All better. Seems like a tall order that one. But why not, eh? Salt Twitter for a second, there with me. Discord channel. Hello everyone and welcome to the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside me for the ride is John McCarthy. Oh, yeah, Delighted that. to have your company as we get set for an exciting day's action. First hole. Hey Luke, glad to be here again uh, as we get ready to kick this round off. The course looks to be in fantastic shape. Could you tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about it? What are we working with here? TPC Summerlin's finish is full of so much excitement and drama. In fact, 15 is a drivable par 4 where Eagle's on the table. So is 16. It's a risk-reward par 5. You can get there with the mid-iron with a great drive, but there's water at the front of the green. And then 17, a fabulous par 3 downhill with water all the way to the left. If you're hitting the ball flush down the stretch, you're a big chance to win here. Thanks, Luke. We'll catch up after nine holes and see what's happening. Right, back with you for a second. And with that, I declare this event Hopefully we can continue. This is looking fairway bound. A decent drive, you know. It says that, and he's already found the rough, but I'm close enough and to the I hole to... I apologise, folks. That shot's ended up in the rough. And this putt is for birdie. The greatest of shots to start off with. Oh, too hard, Ooh, Luke. I Sometimes go. you know, just as soon as you let go, that uh, is too hard. You know, it's like ah! fourteen feet away. We're bound to start off with plus one, I feel that just... Oh, that was safe. It's a par for Bruce. We can't and argue with that. Today's round off we'll start off with par. And teeing off on this next hole. Wind could be an issue on this one. And, uh, well, I guess we're about to find out. Appears to be heading for the fairway here. That's not bad, is it? Uh -oh. Seven feet to go here. We're on the straight, which we are. And that one goes Ooh, in. Ooh, that was just. <laughs> and he's going to move up in the standings after that hole. And now, let us see what the third hole has in store. 475. Well, that's definitely a hole 393. Where's that part five? Well, this one's looking like it's finding the fairway. Oh, a chance to get one back. And from 150 yards. Oh, 
Ooh, well, it's not on the top that of the list of best approach shots today. Seems to me the wind may have gotten a hold of that shot. Well, that's not the best chip. So. This putt is for birdie. And this shot could be the one, well, folks. Let's have a hit. So a par five where we and should have got at least the par. a birdie. We're going to have to end up with just a par. A little bit disappointing. And it certainly blows the whole one round of 60 out of water. And next up is a par four, folks. A long drive. And he's probably going to like that. And about seven feet to go here. And that one goes for birdie. Oh, I've got a birdie. And after that one, sitting at two under four of the day. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store one, for two, us. Three. He's got to be pleased with that. And this for the birdie. It's going to be a tricky one to read. Under hit, but hopefully over the worst of the... Five feet to turn. go here. And that one's going to go for power. And is still in first place after that hole. And now setting up for the next par four hole. A lot of Immense short par fours. power on this drive, folks. And some of them I never really realized. That's not bad. And I think he will like that. That's about a few feet from the cup. And he's going to stay right there where he was on the leaderboard. No change in the ranking. Okay, and let's see what the seventh has in store. Definitely a lot of short power falls. Yeah, it looks like he's put a little draw on this shot. That's true. He's probably not that happy about that one.
I think you'll like that. Not bad. And this for the birdie. Ooh, and that one's very, very close. And uh, it's time to take a peek at the leaderboard. And currently Let me see how we three under for the day. After Got a pit to birdie up at uh, he's first overall par five on this. And setting up. Really got one there. Par three three been on five under already. And going with the six iron. And the shot's looking pretty good. Uh, should put a little bit top on that and it really stopped it. Well, this one's still quite far away, but it is definitely on the green. Oh goodness, that was that was almost in. And for the par. And after that one, he's still in first place. And setting up for the par five hole. So short par five again. And I am pretty sure he's going to like that. From 225 yards. And here's the three wood. Try to go for it in two. Not going to happen. But this is in a fair way. And uh, not the greatest of swings on that approach shot. Unfortunately, not enough club, I think. And this is about a four footer. For the birdie. So we've got birdie out of it. Uh, yeah. so, uh, and as he finishes up right. the front nine, Luke, he's, he's found he's himself a in a pretty ball. good spot, if you ask me. Oh, I love this part of any tournament, John. Nine holes to go. They call it the finish, the championship finish. Who's got the strongest mind as well as the most complete game? Will this leader be able to take it all the way to the house? Gee, I hope so. Thanks, Luke. Let's chat again uh, at the 18th. And he will like that. The drives are still going well. Go try and loft this up and you stop it in its tracks. Should have clubbed down. Nice shot, I think you'll like that. And now from fifteen feet. And tapping it in for the par. And no change uh, ranking wise after that hole. And now setting up for the par four tee off. Thank you. 
do much with it other than to try and hold it up. I do let everyone close enough. And this one's for Birdie. Oh, you can get is there. dropping that long one and tapping in for par. And after that one, uh, four under is the score for the day. And moving along now on the 12th hole. Shots first uh, hook shot to be straight in the water there. This one's about 10 feet too from much the there. cup. Definitely up there too much. Again. Close. But not close enough. And after that hole, he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard. And now, the 13th hole. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here. It was slow there. I thought we were going to crash for a second. From 240 yards away. Three wood in action here. They did two. And that is some fantastic behind that, but club work on this par five much, green, maybe. hitting it in two. Ooh, it looked close. Close. No, just didn't go. It will get bad, yeah. That. that eagle, that could have been a huge two strokes off of their scorecard, but uh, that's how it goes. And after that one, currently sitting at five under for the day. And setting up now on the 14th tee. This shot may be a bit long, folks. Well, that Again, approach is definitely on, best. and uh, there's a fair ways Four still tie. to get to that hole. Ooh, 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 ooh. That, was, uh, that was very close. And about six feet to go here. And that one will drop for par. Okay, and he's still in first place, ladies and gentlemen. And moving on to the 15th here.
This one's looking pretty good so far. Oh, it's found the sand. Yeah, it turns out that shot actually ended up in the sand. That's as I've tempted to go with Sandwich then. I'm just short. And this putt's for Birdie. Just go with a lob and we'll see what happens. Sir. And a nice putt there. I think that was the difference between a birdie and a par. And Once, uh, so there's six under on the day. Right decision, I reckon. And now setting up on the 16th. Par peak. five. Yeah, I'm definitely going to miss some of those rude shots because 60 was possible. And I think he will be happy with that from 170 yards out. Very well played golf shot. Hitting this par five and two, it's going to set up some serious possibilities. And the eagle will drop. There's an eagle. And as we check the standings, he's still in first after that one. And number 17. Here Club is down. the pitching wedge. And nothing wrong with that shot. About 13 feet away. Oh, uh, my goodness, that was close. Didn't read that well, George, did I? And this putt is for par. And a nice putt. And he's sticking to the same position he was at uh, after that hole. And now teeing up for the final hole of the round. I think he'll like that from 115 yards out. This is going towards the green here. And he is on. And this next putt for a 63 on the final round. Be 64 then. This putt's looking to be about two feet. And he's done it, folks. You are now looking at the Shriners Hospital for Children Open Champion. This will be a great victory on their resume. To win anywhere is a big deal. But right here in Las Vegas at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open, top victory this one. I'm sure you'll agree we saw some pretty good golf today. Thanks for tuning in.
Sponsor level three. A few more holes, not to complete the, the round, but there are a couple of more holes. to the Tall Palms Classic. My name is Luke Elvey, and alongside me, as always, is John McCarthy. We're anticipating a great day. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Hi, Luke. Glad to be here. What's happening? I'm excited for today. There's no doubt about that. Let's hope there's some brilliant play out on the course. Thanks, Luke. We'll catch up after nine. See what's up. Going with the hybrid here. Well, this is definitely heading towards the green. And this one's for Birdie. Oh my goodness, close, very close, but not so bad. And starting today's round off at even par. And team off on this par four. What a sand trap, though. Having a promising looking shot here. And about a hundred yards to the pin from here. I think this might be a bit long. And that approach is on the green, but uh, quite, quite lengthy putt ahead. Just, just yeah, missed. So the break at the end. That's this one's about two feet from the cup. Continuing on with a just the nearly and after that hole, he will stay at even par. Now let's see what this third hole has in store. But maybe a par five. And a bit of luck. brave here. Uh, too brave. Too brave. And I doubt he's very happy about that shot. Really? I think we'll get there. But you never know. Ivy. Oh. 
Left and it is looking like this next this shot thing. is deep into that rough. Looks like he's going through the branches here. This putt is I needed to save par. Pulled it out just to get. Oh my <laughs> gracious! So I just pulled it out just close. to get a, a par. We don't even manage that. And this one's for the bogey. That's definitely one to leave it on, isn't it? And as we look at the leaderboard today, the current score to beat is two under par. All right, here's the fourth hole. All right, then, so I think another couple of holes. I'll sort it. See, it was all going so well, and that's all going to be downhill from here. You can and see this it. This one's looking there. pretty good. And about 10 feet Quick, to when go. you're ahead, is this. And Ooh. that one drops for the birdie. The birdie. Okay, well, we've made that one up that already. Will bring him down to even par. And he's currently tied for fourth up on the leaderboard. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store today. It'd be brave, but you know what got me last time, didn't you? Oh, and there's the first shot that is hooked. It looks a bit, I kind of got away with it, really. And he can't be too happy with that shot. Could have been a lot, lot worse. And nicely put into the fairway with the green in range. Let's see what happens. This looking like 17 feet from here. Ooh, that was very close. close. Again. This one's about two feet from the cup. And it looks like he uh, moved down in the rankings after that hole. And now setting up for the par four. I think he'll be happy with that. And about 170 yards out. And that shot will be on the green with a fairly lengthy putt ahead. Oh. oh. 
just go to the right, right at the end. And he is moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. And now we find ourselves on the seventh hole tee off. Phenomenal power on that one. From about uh, 185 yards. And going with the hybrid here might be a bit much. It just bounced the other way, could not it? Well, that's no good uh, as far as approaches go. Just too much club. That's not a bad chip shot, is it? They'll stay right there in seventh place after that hole. If it were to the last hole, then we'd call that a par four. boarding. I'll go off and make some more coffee, I think. I'll catch you guys later, so. Well, I'm not sure exactly where this will end up, but it could the be, uh, could be bad. Slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it. Rough slow. And I think he's going to like that. And this one's for Birdie. We can end on the birdie. Yeah. And that hole's gonna bring him down to even par. So, I'll catch you later.